You are live with Just Jmar in three, two, one. Yo, what up, everybody? Jmar Vrai here. I'm a music video director, filmmaker, and artist. And today, we're going to be talking about a music video that I actually self shot. This is my second time doing this for my own music video. I've done it many times for my covers, but this time it's for an original song that I created and it's called Bucket List. What up, people? We're back. I'm shooting another music video. This time it's an original. Um, it's called Bucket List. I got the gear out. I'm going to be using my car again for this video. Used it last time for other original that I shot with James called Drown. What are we messing with? I'm going to get some fisheye stuff. I'm going to have Kiki operate with the zoom lens so I could get some cool zooms in there. Handheld prism lens effects filters. You guys already know the deal, man. Shooting it on the Sony a7S III with 24mm 1.4 Sigma. Get that uh, shallow depth of field and just go nuts. I made the song in about a few days and then I shot the video right after I got it mixed and mastered. I went straight to go shoot the music video down the street from my house at a park. I got I had an audience there with me. They were watching me. There was there was a Zumba class going on and there's a lot of people watching as you can see. There's a whole group fitness class going over there. Like a Zumba class or something, so they're just watching me. It's okay. Got a little audience. Got a little audience. They, they were just like watching me do my thing. It was kind of funny. I've got a few points to go over today. Real quick, so let's talk about the background and just the ambiance of the actual music video. The music video is literally just me in front of my car. I knew that because I didn't want to go s extremely super cinematic with this music video. I was like, yo, let's just keep it super simple. Let's 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 run off vibes. Let's just have a good time shooting this. Let's just have my energy speak for itself and it should feel fun. So I literally just performed in front of my car. I made sure to color code at least and have some kind of set design or art design going on where I got blue on blue. You know what I mean? And it's just comfy vibes, you know? It's nothing too crazy, nothing too cinematic. Just chill, fun vibes, solo dolo. Feel me? I had my blue pants and I had my blue car to kind of set a tone for like the colors and like how I can play with orange and teal maybe because I know it's fall and like I got a lot of uh, orange in the background and greens in the background and then I have my blue car and my blue pants so that's why I kind of just kept it simple I knew it was going to play off colors as far as the set design and the ambiance now let's talk about this wide shot that you actually see for the very first performance shot not the fisheye shot that you see in the beginning but the very first performance one is where it's a static shot because it's such a wide shot and it's so static i didn't want it to feel boring this is where i have to be big and have a lot of energy because it's such a wide shot <sighs> this and it's static i have to be big and have a lot of energy so let's fucking do it kiki made this tip she told me make sure you use all the space around you and go bigger <sighs> it's actually hard to dance in slippers how is that honey good do i need it am i extra i think you need to be bigger and move around your like and down your car got it okay meaning like make sure that i have a lot of energy in my performance i'm dancing around and using my space so that it doesn't feel so static and boring which is why i also added in post subtle slow zooms just to give it some movement because yes i could have had it locked off and and just be just you know the wide shot on its own and me dancing but i knew that it was going to be boring and you might not really feel anything from watching that so shout out to Kiki for also being there to like give me some notes as an artist, as a talent, and as the performer. As we were shooting, it was kind of like golden hour-ish, almost going into blue hour. I knew that I didn't really want it to be blue hour. I wanted it to stay in golden hour. With that, the sun was starting to peek in. We were actually getting some weird flares into the lens. Oh, the sun's coming out. The sun is coming out. But we positioned it in a way for the close-up that it actually ended up working in our favor. And the video for that very specific close-up ended up looking so sick. I used it for the actual uh, thumbnail of the music video. I wasn't really liking it at first. I tried to, you know, cover it with some with some fake flags that I have. So like using like a lens filter case to try and cover the sun. This is where I'm gonna use, <laughs> this is my flag. We need a flag to, come here, check this out. In the shot, you can see that there's a really bad glare coming on the side, so I'm gonna use this prism lens effects uh, thing to kind of just get rid of that. 
it didn't work out so i ended up just sticking with it and it ended up looking really really nice so although i am self-directing it and i'm pretty much self-shooting it it's not gonna be entirely just you if you want to have some movement in there i could have had it static again and then just add fake handheld shakes in post but i didn't want to do that and thankfully kiki was um wanting to help me so right now we just got a wide shot and then we just got a close-up shot now i need to get a handheld moving shot just to add some movement to it, Kiki's gonna handhold it for it for me, and then I'm gonna get a fisheye shot, and then me dancing, and then just inserts, and that should be it. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this, and then you're gonna just zoom in and out, kind of like what I did for you for Don't Sleep or Feet. Is there autofocus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I switched lenses. I went from the wide lens into the zoom lens so I can get her to get some different focal lengths as she's going handheld shooting me. And I knew that I wanted some shakes in there just to give it some intensity, some movement. Because it's already one location, having different angles, but also having different styles of uh, movement in there is gonna make a huge difference and it will make your video look a little bit better because you have two different kinds of movements. We had the handheld shakes and then we had the gimbal movements for a smoother feel and it just it honestly makes a huge difference and there was like this cool moment in the video specifically with the gimbal where i would move one way and then kiki would move the opposite way and it would just create this like cool orbiting movements with the gimbal really made the video stand out so i really enjoyed that now let's talk about how we got this fisheye look i feel like in every self shot music video or any any video i do in general i'm always gonna add like some kind of really wide or fisheye look just to add some texture to the video just to add a different feel and perspective to the video but look at that i can see myself this specific fisheye was awesome because it was an accident and you could probably hear in my excitement in the next clip how excited i was because it was an accident it wasn't supposed to happen but it happened and it worked out so check it out look at this shot that we're gonna get right now look how cool that looks and this was an accident no normally with this lens it just looks like this right but because i have step up rings and a filter when i put it on it looks like a cool little doorbell situation and it's blue like my pants and my car <laughs> i love when accidents like this happen it's a crop sensor lens on the sony a7s3 sony 10 to 18 f4 step up rings and again i got my prism lens filters on i'm telling you guys man if you do this combination it's sick so yeah as soon as we finished the video i went straight home to edit it knocked out the edit and uploaded it the next day and that's honestly one of the beauties of being able to shoot your own music videos is that you can drop it whenever you want you can finish the edit whenever you want and that's i think i love having that control and being able to do that and i know a lot of artists want to drop when they want to drop so being able to edit my own video is just another skill that i'm so grateful to have i dropped the video the video went great i got a lot of love on it shout out to everybody that was a part of this just this whole project from me recording it in my bedroom literally here with this exact mic to sending it over to the guys over there at burnside studios shout out to ao aztec always doing a great job mixing and then shooting it with kiki having her help me just being there for me super supportive and then just like having all the support of my family and friends sharing the video and i hope that many other artists are inspired by this and go off to achieve the same things because i honestly think this is the best way of being really in control of your music as well as your music video as an independent artist super super grateful for how bucket list turned out if you guys want to stream it it's on all platforms link is in my bio the full video is also going to be in my bio so make sure you guys check it out thank you guys for coming back to this channel if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button like and comment and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace